I have a question. Um, so, Prophet Muhammad Sallam said that whoever was in Syria asked to be a martyr, he would, uh, even if he dies on his bed, he will be a martyr. There's also other hadith where he says, whoever prays um, for the Sunnah before the Duhar Fat and after the Fat, they will be protected from the hellfire. So, even if one is sinful, would he be, would he still die as a martyr or would he still be protected from the hellfire from these hadiths? We take the hadith for their face value. Whoever asks Allah for martyrdom, he will get that even if he dies on his bed. A big example, Khalid ibn al-Walid, may Allah be pleased with him, one of the greatest leaders of the Muslim companions. He fought hundreds of battles in the cause of Allah and he died on his bed. And the hadith is as it is. We believe in it. Now if there are things that block it or the conditions were not fulfilled, we can't say that it will happen. Whoever prays four rak'ahs before Dhuhr and four rak'ahs after Dhuhr, he will be prohibited for hellfire. Can you guarantee that these four rak'ahs before and, and after were fully prayed in, con, uh, in submissiveness and concentration and khushur and perfection and accepted by Allah? You can't. And hence, this is something that blocks the condition that it was stipulated. And as well, in addition to that, if you have sins that would qualify you to enter hellfire and can't be forgiven, not from the small minor sins, but rather a bit major. So this is something only Allah Azza wa Jal, the fairer of all judges. He's just and fair. He's the one who's going to hold you to account and weigh your good and bad deeds and then come with a conclusion that would be only fair.